I need a new introduction because I keep saying he is a new member of the Livingston Council. All nine are brand new, including Tab Lobel from the Springfield area. And gosh, how does it feel now that you've been sworn in? We've been uh, talking together and uh, getting ready to get things rolling here in the parish. Uh, it feels feels pretty good. I know that we're uh, all ready to work together. A lot of changes coming to our parish. It's growing whether we like it or not. Uh, I used to not have to stop at the end of my driveway. I could just pull on out. But now on Highway 42, you'll get run over because uh, there's a lot of a lot of people in our area now. So it's uh, I'm looking for, forward to just seeing all the changes and being a part of it. You know, there used to be a fear that maybe the east side of the parish would dry up. But on the other hand, when you look at the growth and on a weekend, boy, Springfield is jamming with river traffic. And even in the winter months, a lot of tourism, a lot of visitors. A lot of tourism uh, right down the road from our house. We've got uh, Tickfall State Park. A lot of folks coming in there in the wintertime. It's actually better in the wintertime in some ways because the mosquitoes aren't nearly as bad. Uh, so if you can get in there, uh, we have the Tickfall 200 that Joey and them put on out there that just brings great things to the Springfield area. Lots of natural resources, lots of uh, that kind of stuff in my district. I really hope to be able to uh, get with the tourism district and highlight some of those things. So tell us a little bit about yourself. I uh, grew up in Springfield, uh, graduate of Springfield High School, uh, married Lynette. She was a Ganey from Springfield, high school sweetheart. And uh, uh, my dad and I and my brother, we have a business in Springfield doing uh, seawalls, building boathouses, that kind of stuff. And uh, just live and work primarily in the district that I represent. So how did you wind up running for the parish council? Uh, several people. I'm pretty active in our community with the school. Uh, people have uh, approached me about it and for a couple of years. And then uh, I... At first, I really wasn't interested, and the more I thought about it, and the more I saw a few things happening that I thought I could have some probably pretty decent input in, and uh, so I said, I'm going to give a shot at it. What about needs in your district? And I know you're going to say drainage, tough nut to crack. It's uh, needs, yeah, definitely drainage. Uh, we're down at the bottom, uh, and it, the water comes in from one way, and we got to try to get it out as well. So uh, with a little bit of the wind coming out of the wrong direction, the water will come up during a drought so uh, we've just got to figure out how to uh, address those things and get the rain out and there's really no way to keep the tide water from coming in and we just have to uh, deal with that as it comes. So there's a new interest in the old idea of extending Highway 63 which would be a new north-south artery right on down to Highway 22. I think uh, talking to some of the folks in Marpaul I think it'd be a great thing. Uh, during Isaac they kind of were stranded down there and that would give them a straight run out. It would also give them an opportunity to do their shopping in the Jubin Crossing area, for instance, keep those tax dollars in uh, Livingston Parish rather than going to Gonzales or Hammond, which I think is what most of them are doing now if they have to come out through Springfield or if they have to go out through uh, the Diversion Canal area, they'll go to Gonzales or Hammond. So if we could figure a way to keep those dollars in the parish, that'll help us all. So what else are you working on? Uh, right now, we're just, all nine going to get in there and start working together and getting uh, getting our feet wet. We're all nine new, as everybody knows. So uh, I, absolutely, I'm sure there'll be some growing pains, but we're looking forward to working through them and doing what's best for the parish. Because we have we we have a great parish. It's a gym. It's uh, especially over, over on the east side. We've got uh, a lot of good things happening over there, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it grow.